two lasers running almost uh, all the time. Uh, we only run one shaft. Um, this means this laser is a three by three and a half meter bed. And we just got a really, really big block on that. So what determines what kind of filter cloth you're going to use for an application? Uh, a lot of it's experience. Some of it's chemical compatibility. And uh, some of it's lab testing. Or the customer might tell us what they already use on other filter presses or what they've used in the past. Um, for, the, for the winterization step, for the CBD filtration, we use a uh, polypropylene uh, 3 to 5 uh, CFM model multi filament fabric. It's kind of one of our tried and true metal finishing fabrics. It seems to be it pre coats really good. It, uh, it's got a nice uh, satin finish on it, so the cake release is really good. Uh, you can recover it and bind it off. It's not so tight that you can't recover it. And, uh, it's a nice cost effective cloth. And you can reuse all of the cloth always? You can keep using the cloth. Um, typically, uh, I see in, in, this, in the winterization application, six to nine months, pretty much. You're only running a couple times a week, you might get a year out of them. You can power wash them. You can chemically clean them. A lot of guys uh, will uh, just run ambient ethanol through them to clean them to get those, you know, break down the waxes and stuff like that. You back flush them as well? Uh, most people don't, but you can. The, the filtration particle size, how do you how do you dial that in? How do you set that? What is the relationship of the filter cloth you choose and the particle size that you decide to filter cloth? Um, the customer will tell us the particle size if, if that's a concern. Uh, our typical cloth in CBD filtration or organization filtration is uh, well, like around a 15 micron cloth. And uh, once we pre-coat that, you get it down to uh, three to five microns, depending on the grade of filter rate. And um, once you continue, as you continue to build a uh, thicker layer of, uh, of solids on the on the filter bed, it just keeps improving filtration. You get a nine point nine. What do you use to pre-coat? What are the options? For light. Cellulose, Can you use products like um, leaching clay? You can. Or, 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 I, you can. I would test to see uh, if that's going to work for you. Usually we use clays either for bleaching purposes or for uh, absorbent purposes. Uh, when you're doing like a carbon in pulp and you're, and you're doing carbon absorption, you just want to remove all that carbon out. How the pre-coat is able to capture those small carbon particles, the importance, right, of having that pre-coat to capture all those particles and how having a thicker pre-coat and having a, you kind of touched on it right now, where you get 99% of the particles when you have a nice uh, filter paper. So what are these? So this is rope for the cocked in cloths. So the, we, we cut and we fuse the ropes. All of our ropes are fused on the ends so they don't separate and create a leak point potentially for, for solids to pass. And, uh, the cocked in cloth has, has the rope sewn into the, right into it. We don't use a, some, some, custom, some competitors will use a square cloth. You pound the rope in on the top and you trim it. This is, this is a lot easier for installation than the, the fused rope doesn't separate. So it seems you have two pieces of cloth here sewn together. Why? Uh, one cloth goes on one filter plate, covers each side. The sewn together in the center with a barrel neck for um, the solids to pass through and get in each side of the chamber. That's fantastic. On, on the on the CBD or cannabis industry, we do what we call an FDA cloth, where we don't stamp the part numbers on it or put the, the marker marks on it. We'll we'll do the marker 
the sew line marks with uh, just the number two pencil. And the fabric itself, it's it's what what type of material is it? You said polypropylene, and it's food grade. Uh, it's it's manufactured with virgin polypropylene resins or polymers that uh, our our fabric suppliers will give us FDA certification on. It. Laws for the for the metal finishing industry, actually for most industries, but they, they aren't the finish laws are not the FDA law. So, Likewise, uh, we can ship same day. Most of our rolled goods come either from India or Italy. Uh, there's very few uh, fabric mills left in the U.S. And uh, we get uh, great quality from those two countries. Uh, the Chinese fabrics are, are terrible. We don't, do any, we don't use any Chinese fabric. 